With time, I developed this habit of eating at a restaurant by myself. Because of my busy schedule, I rarely find time in common with my friends. Some of you may have seen me eat, right? But not when I'm hungry. When I'm hungry, it's only me and my plate. People stare at first, but then they get tired of it eventually. Fish is my favorite dish. You can't imagine how much I love fish. I remember this one time when I was starving and I entered a restaurant by myself, as usual. People stared at first, but as I'm all comfortable and confident, they thought I was waiting for someone, so they stopped looking eventually. Ten minutes later, I got what I ordered. Fish. I started eating, <laughs> if that was the word for it. But I was kind of feeling as if someone was still staring at me. I didn't mind, but I did notice. A couple of minutes later, I felt this shadow approaching me. Hello, young lady. I raised my head up, and there he was. An old white man with a long white beard and a deep voice, with a smile. Hello, I answered. You really love fish, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Is that why you took it out of the water and boiled it? Is it really the fish you love? At a certain time of our lives, we realize that we love the people around us because they provide us with the physical and emotional needs. With our own needs. So much of what is love is fish love. The external love is not what I'm gonna get. It's what I'm gonna give. A wise man once said, people make a serious mistake by thinking that you give to those whom you love. And the real answer is, you love those to whom you give. His point is, if I give something to you, I have invested myself in you. And since self-love is a given, everybody loves themselves. Now that part of me has become in you, there is part of me in you that I love. True love is a love of giving, not a love of receiving. Put a frog in a vessel of water and start heating that water. As the temperature of the water arises, the frog is able to adjust its body temperature accordingly. The frog keeps on adjusting with the increase in temperature. Just when the water is about to reach boiling point, the frog is not able to adjust anymore. At that point, the frog decides to jump out, but is unable to do so because it's lost all its strength in adjusting with the water temperature. Very soon, the frog dies. What killed the frog? Many of us would say the boiling water, but deep down, we all know it wasn't. It's inability to decide when it had to jump out that killed it. <laughs> I guess the bottom of line is, don't be too selfish to not think of anyone but yourself. And don't be too generous to think more of others than yourself. Thank you.